At Special Effect, we are often asked to help people to access video games using a single hand on a standard controller. There are two ways that we can do this usually, either by remapping controls on the controller or using external accessibility switches. In this video, we'll be looking at how both these techniques can be used to play FIFA on the Xbox One, a game we are always helping people to play. We will show how single-handed access can work firstly with the right hand and then the left. First we will look at how remapping controls can potentially help people play. In FIFA, the left stick is used to move your player as well as aim their passes and shots. Some people may prefer to have the controller flat on the table, others to hold it and then use their thumb and stretch across, others may prefer to use their chin to control the left stick. Some people might find it more comfortable to swap the sticks over so the right stick is acting as the left stick function. To do this in the Xbox menu, you go to All Settings, then Ease of Access, go to Controller, and then Button Mapping. From here, you can then tick the box that says Swap Sticks. This will essentially turn the right stick into the left stick function so you can steer your player. For those unable to access LB to switch player, you can change this in the controls so that auto switching is turned on to auto. If you would prefer to keep this more manual however, and use LB to do chips or one twos, then an external switch can be used where you can't reach things on the controller. Here we are adding a switch for LB to change player. However, if you need more switches, such as for pass, then you can add these and this will mean you can keep your thumb on the joystick and use your switch for pass. You can position switches wherever you find comfortable for you. In this video, we'll be using feet and hands. There are a variety of interfaces you can use to plug into the Xbox One. In this video, we'll be using a crosshair adapter alongside a Don Johnson switch interface to get everything connected and working. In this left hand example, we'll be showing you how you can swap yet more controls and use switches to access the game. Again, some players might prefer to have the controller flat on the table, or holding it in their hand, or having it against their chin. Here we will swap the face buttons over to the D-pad whilst holding the controller in the left hand. To do this, go to Ease of Access Settings, go to Controller, and then button mapping. And then you select your face button, for example, A, and then you'll select your corresponding D-pad button. And for A, that means it's D-pad down. You do this for all four face buttons onto all directions of the D-pad, and this will move the controls over. If you want to swap RT and LT to access Sprint more easily, then you can swap these over as well. Alternatively, you can keep LT as it is, and you can use an external switch to help you access the Sprint function. Here, the switch is positioned by the controller, but you can put it anywhere, such as by your foot. As with the right hand, we are using a Don Johnson interface alongside a crosshair adapter to get everything working on the console. But there are other switch interfaces and adapters you can use if you wish. Please feel free to experiment with different button layouts and switch positions so you can get the right one for you. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy experimenting with the setups.